Minecraft Bedrock just updated to 1.21.120, and in this update, they swapped from UWP to GDK. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means you might have lost all of your worlds and all of your data, but that's okay. We can fix it. Now, Mojang themselves said that your worlds and your settings and everything should transfer over. Now, when I updated, uh, my worlds did transfer over, but I was missing my resource packs and some of my settings, but we can still fix it. So even though your game has updated, it's saved in a different location now because of this new update, which means your old files still exist. So let's close out of Minecraft. The first thing you need to do is press the Windows key and R, and it'll give you this little text box. And then all you need to do there is copy and paste this specific text. Now I'll have this in the description so you can copy it and then hit OK. And once you hit OK, you'll be in this file screen. This is all of your old files. This is where they are. So all you need to do is hit new folder, create a new folder where you want to put them. I'm just putting it on my desktop. I already have this backup folder, but I'll show you anyway. You're going to make a backup folder. Take all of this, copy it, open your backup folder, and paste it all in there. Now, I'm not going to paste it because I already have it, but here is my backup folder with all of my data. Now that you have that, all you need to do is open this menu again, delete the old text in it, and then copy and paste this new text in it. This is where the new Minecraft is saved. You hit OK. It's going to pull you here. Now, what's important to note about this is you have two folders. Or you might have more, but I have two folders. You have the shared folder, and then you have these numbers. These numbers, this is your Microsoft account, the, your account on the PC. This is you. The shared is everyone on the PC and all the Microsoft accounts, which is where you're going to put stuff like texture packs. So let me show you. We're going to open shared games, click through all this, and you'll see you have behavior packs, development behavior packs, development resource packs, development skin packs, and resource packs. All you need to do here is to go into your backup folder. Uh, you're going to copy behavior packs in. Let this copy. Okay. And then you're going to copy development behavior packs. You're going to copy development resource packs. You're going to copy development skin packs. And then you're going to copy resource packs. Now that you've done that, well, let's just continue. Now that you've done that, this is all of your resource packs and all of your skins should be saved. Even ones that you've been working on, that's what these development ones are. If you have been developing resource packs, those should have transferred over. But now we'll close out of this. We'll open the window search again. We'll hit OK. And it's going to bring us back to this bit. Now this, we're going to go over to your account, which is the numbers. We're going to click through this. And then you'll see that it has custom skins, Minecraft P, Minecraft Worlds, screenshots, skin packs, and world templates. So all you need to do here is copy and paste all of this over. Now, little note while I'm editing here you can put every single file in your backup folder in your user folder, but I wouldn't recommend it because Mojang splits them up for a reason. Any of that stuff in the shared folder is supposed to be shared, like your skin packs and your resource packs and all that stuff, and your world stuff is supposed to be tied to your account. So it's better to split them up. Uh, what's important is that you put your Minecraft worlds in this folder and your Minecraft PE folder, which is the folder that has your settings. So we already did these. We're gonna take Minecraft PE, Copy and paste this in. We're going to hit replace. Minecraft Worlds. We're going to paste this in. This one might take a minute if you have a lot of stuff on your worlds. Right now I'm copying, I think, 4 gigabytes of world data. Once your Minecraft Worlds is copied in, you can copy in your screenshots if you want those. I don't know anyone who takes screenshots from Minecraft, but you can copy those in. Copy in your skin packs. And then your world templates. Um, I'm not sure what these dat folders are, but you want to copy these two. I don't know why I have two of them, but hit replace. You want to copy those in. And then now that you've done that, you can close out of everything. You can open Minecraft and you'll have all of your data, all of your worlds, everything. See, we're in. I have my resource pack pre-installed. If I go down to my resource packs, I have all of these. If I go to play, I have all of my worlds. I even have all of my servers saved. So let me hop into this world. 
And as you can see, we're in here. Everything's good. I've got all the stuff I had before. The world's perfectly fine. We've, I don't like this new menu, <laughs> but we have all of our stuff back on the new Minecraft update. I hope this helped you guys because I had to delete my Minecraft world and all of my data that did transfer over in order to do this right. But I hope it helped. And if you need any help, you can join my Discord or you can comment below and I'll respond at some point.